Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Slovakia. He's 23 years old, stands five feet six inches tall, and weighed in at 67 kilos. He's an independent fighter, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Adrian Agulis. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Nottingham. He's 20 years old, stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, and weighed 70 kilos. He fights out of Liberty Gym and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Jake Amaze. This amateur contest is fought over three three minute rounds. So here we go from Fight UK, lightweight action. As Adrian Gullis in the white shorts, takes on Jake Mayers in the black shorts. Adrian Gullis, Dave, making his debut so many times. We see it with debut fighters. Let's see how those nerves affect him, that big adrenaline dump of fighting here on a big stage. Certainly, Ben, it's also worth noting that he came in a little underweight, coming in at 67 kilos in a 70 kilo matchup. Gullis looking to strike from the outside. That size difference quite obvious when both fighters are there at that point. You'll, makes me wonder if Mays is going to want to maybe close the distance and use that size advantage to maul his opponent to the floor if he can. Both seem content to box on the outside. Gullis looks a little more comfortable for me, Ben. His movement is a little better, but obviously, as we said, Mayes probably with the extra power being a little bigger. Definitely for me, Dave Gullis looks a little less frantic on the feet. There's a little bit more rhyme and reason to his combinations. What a nice leg kick from Mays there. The real feeling out process here is Mays throws that big kick. Goal is content to try and pick his man apart from the outside. He's clearly got a bit of a reach disadvantage. He's going to have to come in, but those hands look sharp from Goal this day. Certainly looks like a boxing background to me, Ben. He doesn't want any part of the kicks, but his movement's great. We're going to see his grappling now. Oh, big takedown. Big takedown. And I think this is where we're going to see the differential. Going for a bulldog choke from that position. Something that we do see from inexperienced grapplers, and this is, I think, where it's going to finish taking the back of his opponent and locking the body triangle in. Gullis is really going to struggle from this position. Yeah, I think Gullis is running on pure heart at the moment, Ben. And a shot through the middle, uses that body triangle quite nicely, and now he's going to look to flatten his opponent out if he can. Goes back to the hooks rather than the triangle. Can hear Jake's corner, Carson Lenoir there, telling his opponent to spread him out. Try and land some shots if he can. I think you're right, Gullis is running on, on pure heart here at the moment. He's really struggling to get out of this situation. The thing is, Ben, even if Gullis is able to escape, oh, the choke looks on. The choke is on and there's the tap. I was just about to say, Ben, even if he was able to escape, Mays had the blueprint for the win, you know. He knew that he had the advantage on the ground. Adrian Gullis looked excellent, stood up, like we alluded to, probably a boxing background. Back to the drawing boards in terms of grappling. Maybe that's a real eye-opener for him in his debut. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 29 seconds, your winner, due to a tap-out by a rear naked choke from the red corner, Jake Amaze. Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Adrian Agulis.